Hello everyone, I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about column kicker. What is column kicker? Why we need column kicker? Do we really need a column kicker? Can you do the construction without using a kicker at the columns? All those and much more will be discussed today. Let's start. Let's see first what's the column kicker. Now you know when you do the construction, once you do the construction of a column, at the floor level you do the slab and all that will be cast at one stage so once you cast at the floor you have to continue the construction of the column say this is your column so when you do the construction of this column so you have the reinforcement like this so now this stage has to come up now when you do the column now there is a difficulty in placing the home point for that purpose, what we need do is we place a concrete like this. This is usually generally about 75 millimeter concrete. So this is about 75 millimeter thick concrete. So we please place 75 millimeter concrete, then we can easily fix our home work. That's the main reason we have a column kicker here. You, you can fix the foam work like this. Right? So it's easy, otherwise you can't hold the foam work because it will move this way, you know. When you fix it from the outside, it will move. You can't hold it. So you need a kicker. Early days during the construction, even now, sometimes this kicker is being used. This is the main purpose of having a kicker. But what are the disadvantages or issues with the column kicker? So as you see, it's easy for the fixing foam work and all that, and you can carry on the construction very easily. But when it comes to the kicker, now you know uh, when when you have a structure, you have a different grade of the concrete. The concrete may be may have a different grades, right? So say it is grade 30 concrete. Now your column may be a different grade or in the same grade. So you have to place 75 mm thick concrete here. So how do you get this concrete? Now it is very difficult to do get the concrete small quantity time to time uh, because this is a very small volume here. So sometimes we have seen people mixing the concrete at site for this purpose only and pour there. So then the, our strength may be less. You might not get the required uh, level of level of the concrete. Okay, if you expect grade 30, but you mix manually outside, then oh yeah, you might not get the exact strength. Even if you have a batching plant close by, when you get it, uh, smaller concrete here will be very difficult, and it will be challenging. But you can fix a small foam work there at the initial stage for the, for the kicker. That can be done. But it will be very difficult to get it. Another important thing is when you do the concrete pouring, you know, you have to chip it. You have to remove all the grout here. Top grout layer, you have to remove and uh, place the fresh concrete. Now, it's say it's okay. You can remove the floor level. You can re chip the floor level and do the concrete. But when it comes to the kicker top level also, now again the grout layer or grout will be accumulated here. So again you have to chip this and remove the top grout. So it is kind of a difficult task. People might not do that during the construction. Sometimes it is avoided. Is it good? No, it is not good because you know the when you do the mixing and pouring, there would be a grout layer forming here collected here without tip sometimes when you do the compaction it would collect it here even for the construction when you poke here some certain grout layer will be collected here you have to remove it because the the uh, your strength is brought by the metal particles and cement this all the, the mix is the one we develop the 30 right? not the grout there may be a high water content here then the strength will be reduced so we have to remove 
same thing will be applied here but there will be less possibility here because the smaller thickness there it's thinner layer will be there the impact when compared to here will be less but there is a certain risk that is also there so the reduction on the strength and the pouring difficulty in the pouring and all that caused the uh, issues to us when doing the construction therefore nowadays there are different techniques is being used to replace the column kicker what are these techniques now you know you have a flow here you want to car fix the work there right you need to fix the form work there hold the form work what we do is here we fix a plywood initial stage we fix the plywood there right again this side also we have a plywood like this right we fix plywood into the concrete right by nails so that your line will be marked if you if we draw this in the plan the the column will be like this so what we do is we fix the plywood here plywood there like this to so fix the plywood okay your plywood sheet will be there something like this you fix the plywood there right on the plan i have drawn in the plan so your column reinforcement will be like this the reinforcement will be there so you fix the plywood around that once you fix the plywood on the top of that you can place the foam work here so we can fix now the this vertical plywood to the this horizontal or the plywood placed on the floor then the connection can be dual and we can hold it rather now rather placing the plywood on the concrete surface this is difficult to hold this will, this will move when you when you tie it from the both sides you have tied it you know, with the pipes and all that you have tied it and then it will move so hold that if you have a plywood like this on that you can fix this and we can hold it there are different techniques are being used but the fixing can be done here because you can fix plywood like this or whatever the method so you can hold it we can have a connection here this is the uh, more simplest way of doing it and the method of avoiding it in if you have a uh, something like that then you you don't need to have additional concrete as a column kicker so you can pour the normal concrete here from the same way and you can chip here as we discussed previously you can remove top grout layer and then you can put the usual concrete whatever the grade 30 we have a no joint there as we have the kicker so those are the things that we need to know about column kickers now we discussed today why we need column kicker and how it is important and what are the things to be considered when you are constructing the column with the column kicker when you what are the difficulties you face without the column kicker that has to be addressed when you're doing the construction and what are the alternatives now alternative is the fixing the plywood or something like that then you can hold your foam work so that's it for today i think we have discussed important facts about the column picker let's meet again for a new video thank you very much for watching our videos